bits and around. So I shall try and make it a bit more tight and concise this time. Um, so yeah, the assignment, the important thing there is that you make it unique to yourself. And so your ordered list should be your own list, not like anybody else's. Your unordered list also the same, not uh, not the same as anybody else's. Uh, your table uh, must be different. Even a different number of columns would be really good. Unique photographs. So hopefully you know how to, to move photographs around. Hopefully you know uh, uh, how to edit photographs a little bit. You probably do. You're probably better at it than I am. And so... Uh, I'm sure that I'll see some some nice photographs and things like that. Now, very important in your web development, and you'll see here, I want you to look at this um, these folders. So you guys are familiar with using using um, uh, Web Explorer, uh, Microsoft Explorer. This is Explorer, Windows Explorer. Uh, so with Explorer, you have these folders, and it's just um, click and and you look inside them. But you notice that I've got three folders here that have to do with web. That's because every time you make a new web site, let's call it, it should be in its own folder structure. So you don't mix it up with others with other files. And so these might look the same. So web assignment, that's the first one we did, right? It's the first one we did. And if I, oh, if I, it's pretty bad, right? This is bad because it doesn't have any CSS on it for some reason. That's so that's interesting. Uh, going back to the folder. So that one is the web assignment. No CSS. I must have edited that pretty heavily uh, to get it to be like that. Um, this one with links. Now that's the same one, but after some editing, that's the one that I'm going to show you today, what, what I've done to, to sort to try to change it. But what I want you to see in this one is in the images folder, I've got a bunch of images in there. All right. So that all my images will be there and I can and I can move to them and away from them uh, inside the website quite easily. I'm going to show you another one. I've got a folder there called CSS. And you'll see that I've actually got a file in there that's called my CSS. If I click on that, it should open up in an editor. Let's see what editor it'll open on. Okay, it opened up in uh, in uh, Visual Studio Code, which is good because that's the one that I use. Now, have a look at that code. Hopefully, this code looks familiar to you. It's the same as the code that we had at the top in the style, in between the two style uh, tags. It's that, it's that code. What I actually did, um, again, if you look here, uh, I'm going to move out of that folder now into the index file. I'm going to edit it. So open with the um, Visual Studio Code. What you'll see is if you look at this now, there's no style, there's no style tags. I removed the style tags and what I put instead is this thing here which says link to a thing which is a style sheet. And this is where you'll find it. You'll find it in a folder called CSS, and this is its name. So I took all the style code, which we call CSS, I took all of that, cut it out of here, I put it into another file, and, and I can edit it there. This is how we do it usually. Now, we don't do that with all the CSS code, we do that with the code that we might wanna use for more than one, one uh, file. It, and it tidies things up, right? So now we know all we've got here is just our, is just our, uh, um, HTML code. We don't have any CSS. We put all the CSS back there. Now, if I was, uh, now, if you're a, a system developer in, uh, in uh, using um, the, these tools, what you would have is you'd have multiple large screens. You'll see the system developers, they, they have at their workbench three or four things. And that's because on one, they've got the HTML open. On another, they got the CSS open. On another, they've got, they've got the web page. And, you know, they, so they have different tools on each of, uh, in each of those windows. And so that makes it easier for them and much quicker for them to sort of do their development. I'm going to go back to the CSS now, see if I can open that. 
without closing this. Yeah, okay, so. Can I take that out of there? Yeah, it looks like I can. So I got the two. So as I said, this is what your system developers would be doing. They've got this the HTML over here so they can look at it. They got the CSS over here so they can look at it and they're editing it as they go. I'm sure you guys are really smart people. I'm sure you're a lot smarter than I am. You'd be able to figure out maybe even a more efficient way of doing this. Um, now, when I say that, I did mention in a previous class that uh, artificial intelligence is being used by system developers. There's lots of tools like that that they can use to make these things really fast. I'm not showing you the fastest way of doing HTML development. I'm just showing you what, what I'm trying to show you is what are the things that are underlying what you're doing. If you ever go into system development, you'll be using tools that are much faster than this. Uh, maybe at, for sure you'll not not just maybe for sure you would be using some artificial intelligence which would do a lot of this work for you so you would have an artificial intelligence tool and you'd say all right i want to make all of this page like this and it would boom uh, just uh, produce all of the code for you um but it's good so, but why we're doing this is it's good for you to actually be able to kind of read the code and know what it is and maybe the best way to do that is to actually write a little bit of code all right so over here, I've got my um, my HTML uh, to show you what I mean. So here, I've got a, a class called Demo Wrap. If I go into my my CSS, I can see what's happening with Demo Wrap. Uh, likewise, with I got this class Demo BG. I can see over here what's happening with Demo BG. Demo BG just is this class that works with this uh, image. And that image, we talked about this before. It has a very small amount of opacity. That means it's almost transparent and it takes up 50% of the screen and the sides um, left and right are 25% over from that. And this is what that website looks like, like that. Um, yeah, so uh, that's our website with a little bit of stuff added to it. Um, I wanted to show you, maybe I can make this, I, I have to make this big just for a second. Problem is I got these, Things that, um, right. So do you see at the bottom, I have this hyperlink and I think I may have shown this to you before, but if I click on the hyperlink, what happens is I navigate away from where I was to that other, uh, wherever that hyperlink is pointing. And this hyperlink is pointing to here. That's quite, quite common. You'll see that those kinds of things. Uh, if I uh, take myself back, let's look at the code. How did that happen? So there's the CSS and there's the, there's the other. So how did that happen? Down at the bottom of my page, I have this code, which is a an A tag. The A tag has inside of it an H reference and the H reference has a URL. Uh, the URL points to that, uh, that um, place in the internet. Yeah, well, the URL. Um, and uh, then beside that, I have some text which will show up on the screen, and then I close my a tag with um, with 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 a closing a. Well, we use two things. That's the first a is closed by that greater than sign. Then the second a is is there, and that um, is a way of inserting what we call a hyperlink. Hyperlink we use that to uh, move away from the um, from the object. Now we can also we can also we can we can link to other pages that uh, in, for a website. The website can have more than one page. So what I wanted to show you here is I've got here another folder which I have other pages, and I have a page in there which I call my columns. So that's mycolumns.html. So that's a page. Now what we typically do in a web page is we put in a thing called, for navigation. So in the body. Um, maybe after the header, yeah, okay. Let's do it here. We might have, well, actually before that, I'll put in a nav. So what happens with a nav is that is for navigation. 
And uh, what we'd do there is we'd put in a whole lot of hyperlinks. I'll just put in one. So hyperlinks go in with the A tag. So put in my A tag and with the an href. And the href is going to be where we're going to go to. So if I'm, this one is in the main. So where I'm going to go to is going to be in pages. That's the, that's the folder that it's in. I don't know why it's uh, eight pages. And then the, the file that I'm going to link to is called my columns. I'm going to close the, first half of that a tag there the second half comes up this is where i put my um my text that goes with that okay so here i'm going to say my columns page and i'm just making i just made this page up so we can see how columns go um let's see if that's going to work control s i'm not sure it is because i haven't done this for a long time but i think it will so uh, if we go to our web page, do we see my columns there? Well, I don't see anything because I actually have all this stuff in the way. Of my... I put it at the top, right? Can you see it? My columns? I thought it was at the top. Probably underneath this. Well, you know what? I'm going to stop the video now. I'm going to figure this and I'll come back and uh, and uh, do that. So that's probably enough for now. I'll give you the code on.